I can walk right up to that. Hey, you can see what I'm doing is I'm hitting this point underneath and this point. I'm walking up. I usually try to find that first point and rotate it in. Point that's stationary. You have one that's movable. Okay, if you look, I'm going to bring it right to zero. Now I'm going to get a 90 degree cut. Yeah, I go. Let's set it up. I'm just going to take the saw. The saw has two grooves in it. One that works on our regular rail. Okay, and this one's a T. So this is for this the rail right here. And what I'm going to do is just take it. You can see this little tab. As I slide it on, it locks the tool to the rail. So the depth adjustment on here, if you can see this, is simple. I just pinch this green part to this gray part, and this is an imperial scale for North America, which is nice. And I can just set my depth. I'm just going to set it full depth. Uh, we also have a bevel scale here. This is on this. I, this is my blade guard. That's how I maneuver it out of the way. But if you also look, this is a 1.8 millimeter thick curved blade. And that actually is the riving knife that falls in the curve. It acts as a splitter riving knife. How's it cut? I'll just take it like this. There's my stationary point. That's my movable point. If I need to make an angle, so I'll just show me that action just by manually doing it. Yep. So then I can take that. What if I need to knock a 15 degree? Or let's just do a 30 degree. Here's my mark right here. Right? I can just take that. That's where I want it. Instead of using like a speed square and a regular search saw, I can bring it right on my mark. Like that. Now I can compound that. I can take that, bring it right here. Let me just pick any degree, whatever. Take it just like this. I can take it. There's my compound angle. We also have it in cordless. Mike, did you get some good stuff?